Boom. Home listings. Let's get into it. Realtor Nick. All right, Jamie. We've got to take a look. i got a couple of real ones for you today. Then this is. i got to put shorts ironic. on. I'm hot. Not ironic. You're going to want to put shorts on after these sweet babies. On this sweet home hunt. And you, I remember you, you, I saw the picture of the thing you bought at that fair, that festival that says Home Sweet Home, that you says, hey, Nick, can't wait to hang this on the home that you find for us. Mm-hmm. Remember that? Mm-hmm. And it was like a all it was oatmeal and it said home sweet home mm-hmm. and then I had a red maroon a, a maroon heart on the roof. I have I got some um Norman Rockwell paintings too. Mm-hmm. Prince. What was the subject matter? Uh, it was an old man looking down and giving an apple to a little boy. Oh. Can you do type in Norman Rockwell painting? Did they have any like um maybe like I don't know, like a child trapped in a like Weird a sewage overtones? pipe? Like, maybe, like, children stored in sewage pipe drawn by an AI. Yeah. Look at these goofy. Yeah, this is the one I got. <laughs> Classic. Yeah. Americana. You, you just got the... What's that, that? The title of that one is Fresh Rimming, right? Mm-hmm. No, it's nice. It's good stuff. I don't want to tar- tarnish Norman Rockwell's name. I hate these paintings. I hate Norman Rockwell paintings. I fucking hate these. Oh, shit! Oh, Thank yeah. Thank you so oh, much. Oh, you, Al, you guys. Enjoy it. All right, keep it with Sammy. You, want you probably want to wash down some of the pemmican with it. Do you need that? Oh, you got yours. Okay. I, can top it off. I should drink two of these. <laughs> yeah. Two oh, thanks, buddy. One. What? Shotgun it. Oh, hell yeah. Dude. That is a really nice. <laughs> you're going you're gonna to be in good shape. <laughs> At that time, you drank Jack Lakes and fucking three Diet Cokes. It was wasted. <laughs> <laughs> At some point, dude, you're gonna have to exercise self control, and we all know it. <laughs> dude, submit to sobriety, dude. It's like, you know it, I know it, your parents know it. What the fuck? I don't know. Man, you do the craziest, Steve O. Well, uh, Steve O, your realtor. No. Um, this house is pretty cool. Okay. Um, so this is uh, so this is a this is an earnest. A lot of people uh, have been just writing. Uh, did someone see the house bit? How the hell did the house bit get out? We we put that one out oh, earlier oh. than the other oh, okay. ones. Okay, because a couple of kids hit me up. So they're like, "What would you actually? Ooh, what would you actually? This is what I would actually buy. Is the first one. It's not. It's a. Uh, it's a little below standards for your pr- it's price range, <laughs> but this is a value buy. This is a good deal. Okay. Um, five Maple Crest in Smithfield. All right. These are. This is like a nineteen uh, fifty-five to sixty-five. 55 to 68, uh, actually 45 to to 68 ranches. So there were uh, executive ranches. Uh, it's 2,200 square feet, which was plenty big back in the day. That was a big thing. And it's just got a nice layout. Obviously, the landscaping, it's been overrun by tall oaks, which is why it has a moss problem and the plants underneath aren't growing. Tall oaks, the the rat, the New York City, the New York City subway rat of New England. Of New England, yes, yes. The problem, the, the $6,000 problem... Um, they're hefty, but, uh, if you keep Everybody scrolling. Everybody loves, you love trees so much you want to fucking marry them. Yeah, you, good. I hope you do, because they're going to wreck your roof and house. Uh, this one's moldy. It's got a, an old laurel, and you know, the, the landscaping sucks. But, this house needs a, like a full fucking, I wouldn't take them all down. I would, you know, but it's got the old flagstone, uh, walkway, which is a, a telltale sign of nice shit. That was, that was a nice way to do it. Um, it's thoughtful, um. The facade is all brick. It's a uh, like a, a custom, ugly fucking brick, which you can paint. I like painting brick. Actually, it doesn't bother me. Um, I would paint the brick, do the doors over. Uh, probably gonna need a chimney repoint. You could do a color opposite colored semi. Uh, I found these out uh, half round gutters. Those are kind of cool. A friend of mine, Stella and Clark, told me about them. Um, but half round gutters would look that good in that house. And then if you go inside, the layout's pretty good because it's single level. Yeah, and um, so. So you did that into the inspector's face, Sam. <laughs> yeah. And I think you actually stuck your fingers up your own ass and then <laughs> made him smell them. And he says, smell it, sweet pussy, dude. <laughs> <laughs> they never smell it when you do that, so you have to give them poopy kisses. <laughs> yeah. Is that, is that a poopy yeah. kiss? Where you stick your own fingers up your ass right and then give them a kiss? Uh-huh. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh. Because they never want to smell it. They're never going to just smell your fingers over. No. no, no, but they'll kiss you. Yeah. Okay. 
the home inspector when you're in when you <laughs> shut you're in a boiler room with him and you shut the door behind you. Yeah. And now you realize you're just like two guys in a 24 by 24 closet, and you're giving them kisses with shit smelling lips. You have a nice open foyer right here. Uh, I don't know if that stack stone looks that stack stone looks a little off to me. Um, that might be like a, a broken down veneer from a brick. They probably, but I don't. I don't think the owner had that much. <coughs> I don't know why they would do all the other things and do that. So it's probably natural stone, oak flooring. But that's like that's where you walk into, like a little foyer there, a little mud room, if you will. Um, mm -hmm. These kind of have like good layouts, like a contemporary layout that would like serve the purpose of the modern, the modern human. So it, you walk in, you go left to go to the kitchen, you go right to that kind of offset fireplace. It's a little weird. But it was definitely like that. Either that, that wall wasn't original. But kind of a cool, not a nice big windows. I like that shit. Those old uh, stainless radiators, you can take those off, clean them, and paint them. Um, you can do the floor. You, underneath that carpet, I'll bet thousands that it's uh, the, the, the oak flooring that's underneath there. And then, but if you look at that, it's kind of like a, I don't know, I like that. It's $3.99 in this house. It's a good deal. This neighborhood's good. It's already pending. It, it went pending. I saw it. It went pending immediately. But um, I mean, you got a brick house with big windows. If you keep scrolling, you rolling through this. I'm not going to tear that. This house doesn't have a lot. It has a lot of, like, good things. Every house that you're going to buy, whether it's three to 700000 bucks, you, the, the countertop is going to suck. The kitchen cabinets are going to suck. The walls are going to suck. But if the right things are there, like, you don't have to do a lot. The kitchen, we knew the kitchen was going to blow, all right? But you can, you can fucking do it. You're going to have to do one thing. You're not going to, you know, they're not going to have it all. She's not going to be, like, a supermodel and a fucking race car driver, all right? Mm. She's not gonna like fuck your brains out and cook you a chorizo soup. You know what I'm saying? Never gonna happen. She does. They get you get one thing. You get to pick one. You pick one. Mm -hmm. You fuck your brains out, or you want her to fucking cook you food. Chorizo soup. All right. Mm -hmm. Well, guess what? She's gonna be laying there. <laughs> How's the soup? It was wicked good. <laughs> Uh, nice big walk-in closet, big old rooms that you'd have to redo anyway. Obviously, a stupid ceiling fan. Cut that out. Put a couple of recess cans in. Um, but those doors are those closet doors are pretty. Nice. I mean, look at that. You got nice guts right there in the closet. Put all my Louboutin shoes in there, right? I could fucking kneel down in the corner over there and shoot myself in the head. <laughs> that would be cool. <laughs> Facing the wall. Yeah, yeah. I could have my. I could put my phone to my right of my le right thigh. That's on speakerphone to my dad. And I said, Dad, I tried, man. I tried as hard as I could. Mm -hmm. Yeah, original '60s tile in the bathroom. Which who cares? Keep it. Work with it. Old lead window. Um, those. What are they called? J jazzily. What the fuck are those windows called? <laughs> the crank roll out aluminum windows. I like this house. If you keep going, keep rolling, keep rolling. Nice, nice, nice. Big. Sprawling, exec they're called executive ranches. Mm -hmm. These are in every town in America. I like these houses. They live well. When you do them right, most of the time they're in a nice enough area where if you faced it, if you came in, painted that house black, put it all black and white, made it kind of like you could you could lipstick this house, truly. Just paint it. You know, like you could paint those beams black, those white, put that room really cool, put the right furniture in it, you know, clean it, and then sell it to the fucking retard that you went to high school with. It Didn't get it when it looks old. I don't know. It smells old. Mm -hmm. That's what someone's wife would say. Like looking at the house, like the freaking trees need to be cut down. That's gonna cost like fifty thousand. And then I would shoot her from forty feet away. <laughs> I would like stinger splash her off the roof. Like yeah, um, cool nineteen sixties bar. Love mm -hmm. that shit. Like back in the day when you were just like old fucking the like you come over and play cash games mm -hmm. and you'd shoot someone in the foot. You could beat a bar. Come on over, wash your underwear. They probably got some shit stains or two. Soak them while we play cards. <laughs> I like it. Um, but yeah, he got a couple of nice. Like if you clean that up, you could like right you could landscape that nice, nice. Um, obviously, you got a, a big tree work, but you got a nice old patio. You can keep it, work with it. You got square footage of hardscape. Fuck it, use it. That's a lot of freebies. Those cows comes with a ton of freebies, mm. like a downstairs finish, like in, in some moderation, a nice garage, um, and they usually set kind of nice on the land. So that's a nice piece. It is a nice piece. It's a nice piece. Three ninety nine, way below your price range. Does it come with the bike? It comes with that bike. Does it actually? Yeah. No, that's an eBay ad. Um, dumb. No. That is that is a nice house though. It's cool. Yep. I like the layout. That one room with all the. By the with the fireplace and the big windows, it's nice. Yeah, you can fucking bang your girl on the on the ottoman mm -hmm. with the windows open. Now what is now if I'm if I want something that's finished, is that what seventy one Child Road is? Seventy one. I know I didn't notice it was Child <laughs> Road. Yeah, seventy one Child Road. Great. Tony Podesta sent it to me. <clears throat> Great. He he was like, <laughs> and I was like seventy one. <laughs> Got it. Child. And I was like, child. 
Woodstock. <laughs> <laughs> I think he said suck my cock or I said Woodstock. But this house, <clears throat> this is a custom built 7,600 7, square foot, mm. 11 acre masterpiece mm-hmm. that you couldn't build again if you wanted to mm-hmm. for the next 10 years mm-hmm. until like shit falls right out of the bag and you can, <clears throat> can pay. Mm-hmm. I don't even think you could. Mm-hmm. I don't even think you could to be honest with you. Mm-hmm. Um, but this is what I like. I like houses that you can't mm. rebuild again. It's in Woodstock. Um, it's like one of those fucking custom jams with the full full cedar siding. I mean, you got verandas on verandas on verandas here. How far is Woodstock? Let me look this up here. This is, uh, it's like 20 minutes past my house. <laughs> Top of a hill. 11 acres. Looks like four manicured. So if you're cutting four acres of land. Looks like where we shot gooey. It does. But that's land, you know, that's all professionally landscape. That that landscape had to cost fucking, uh, I don't even know, 300000 mm-hmm. 250000 Like it's I love hills. I fucking love views and mm-hmm. vistas. Because mm-hmm. in the snowstorms, you eat mushrooms, you look out to the distance. Mm-hmm. You, you can watch all your football games. You can run your fantasy football leagues there, Sam. Mm-hmm. You can play your guitar. Mm-hmm. It's not, I mean, it's just, a, the guy just did a good job. I mean, it's just, it's room after, it's 7,600 square feet, so this fucking thing just keeps going and going and going. Mm. Um, hideaway dishwasher, front mount farmer's sink. Probably, that's probably some limestone flooring with this probably radiant, um, all exposed post and beam, which is <coughs> fucking fat. The house is, it's just a nice house. Mm-hmm. I mean, the cardinal tiles in the fireplace can, you know, there's some, some questionable finishes, but. You got like a herringbone salt glazed tile on the on the um, fireplace. Probably one of seven fireplaces. Um, an oak mantle that was probably salvaged out of an old house. I like these. Like something that some fucking dickhead built. You're just not gonna get them around. Yeah. Ah, yeah, you will. Yeah, you would. You could find them. This is an hour. This is an hour away. Is it? Seventy one Child Road. Yeah. I need to make more money. Goddamn. Yeah. This is uh. You could put your telescope right there. Joey, do you think everybody would relocate to Eastern Connecticut? <laughs> and he wants off. Like, they're lowering the price. Like, they can't, they don't get these numbers out there. Mm-hmm. They do it for like a million and a half bucks before they buy it. The house is just, like, those doors when they shut, they all like clack hard. You know what I mean? Like, there's some real special shit going on with this fucking thing. Mm-hmm. Um, Jesus Christ, he really went with a fucking bird mode. Those, those are probably like French tiles or something. Man, it's, nice house. Houses can be really so beautiful. Yeah. People don't, uh, they don't give them enough credit. Hey, what if they fucking lived in one? You ever live in the house? So you'd be one fucking peachy keen guy. Let me tell you something. You wake up, look at the size of that fridge, dude. Mm. The double, double. Damn. Like hit hideaway fridge with the fucking dope green. That house is fucking fat, dude. Tasteful. Mm. It's all like American craftsman style, like stickly. That's probably stickly furniture, all of it. Um, like tall. Fucking like $12,000 for that fucking dining room set. Um, that's probably like a cherry bench made fucking mm. dick withered. Dick Witherton. <laughs> it's a four over eight. <laughs> it's like George Washington. <laughs> I, I have a class talent. It was a dead bee. Right there. That's good luck. Is that good luck? That's not good luck. That's good luck. It probably died from the frequencies being admit, emitted by these TV screens. Keep Let's from keep going mi- into this. Mitsubishi? Yeah, by the Mitsubishi. Yeah, Bluestone like that. That stuff's uh, like 50 bucks a foot. That, that Bluestone stuff right there, it's $8 mm-hmm. a foot to buy it. <clears throat> that like uh, a regular pattern... Uh, like r- textured finish bluestone patios. That shit's like top of the line. It's mm-hmm. very nice. And the, the fact that they ran it all the way to the door tells you that there's drains everywhere, that mm-hmm. they did it like smartly. Mm-hmm. There, there'd be a step up if they were like a low rent fucking landscaper. So no expense was spared. Mm-hmm. Meaning like rain could come on that thing and it would go into the door, mm-hmm. but they figured something out. There's probably like a fucking beautiful drain somewhere that's just damn feeding those Shasta daisies. <laughs> But that Connecticut's kind of like loaded with them. Like every like gay guy from New York like went mm-hmm. to Eastern Connecticut and they were like, it's the quiet corner. And then they go there and they're like hedge fund managers that are literally gay from New York and like fucking move out there and build these fucking masterpieces. Mm-hmm. And um, they're just like that one client for that good builder that everybody knows about. Mm-hmm. And the builder's like, I was there for two years with the guys. I can't believe they dropped. They must have ran out of money. I don't like the drop ceiling in a bit, but. I bet you if I busted his balls, like, what happened? You ran out of money? And he's like, I can't do it all. <laughs> In-ground pool. Definitely wasn't the same guy who did the fucking landscape and allowed that pool to happen. A liner pool? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> no liner pools. Uh, no, no, no. 
but that house is just beautiful. Damn. Is there a garage? I think that might be a fucking gatehouse down there. Is that a gatehouse down at the basement right there? I looked into those. You put like a garage at the front of the property. Mm-hmm. Like like a carriage house. Man. That's cool. Fuck. I got to get more money. You can swing that. This guy will make a deal. What's the mortgage? 10 grand a month. What is the... Um, you make that in your OnlyFans. What's the property tax? Damn, man. 1500 a month. So it's uh, <laughs> about 14000 a year. 12000 a year? Oh, whatever. Whatever 15 times 12 is. You put a 450 down, and then you take, assume a mortgage of a 3%. Don't make me make sense of $1.8 million houses. I can do that for hours. <laughs> man. I can justify that shit all the way up to like $5 million. Kind of make more money. That was a house I thought of for you. If you see anything, if you see anything um, closer, let me know. Yeah, because I do need to be within forty-five minutes. The only, the, the only reality is like to get that caliber of a house, mm. you got to be like Woodstock Thompson. Fuck, you got to be like out there. It sucks. It's just the truth. 